For a number of years now, I have been raising ducks here on my farm. However, there is one thing that they do that I absolutely can't stand. When my family left the city and moved out into the country and we were starting our homestead, we were super excited and really eager to begin having animals on our farm and one of the animals that we were really excited about getting was chickens. And when we bought our first chickens, we bought them from somebody who was raising them and didn't want to raise them anymore off Craigslist and they had a red chicken coop with a run attached to it and we bought them but part of buying those chickens there were two ducks that came along with those chickens and they were peeking ducks one was named Romeo and the other one was named Juliet and after we got them on our homestead and began dealing with them on a regular basis I could tell right away that those ducks really did not like us they would definitely come after us especially the male he was really really protective of the female and he was really protective over the chickens as well he was almost like a guard duck and and they were pretty hefty and big and i was actually nervous of, about having the kids around them especially romeo since he was so aggressive and uh we really didn't spend a lot of time just dealing with them we'd give them their feed and that was pretty much it we actually didn't even really get any eggs from from the female at all so it definitely started off with giving me a bad taste in my mouth, a bad feeling of, of raising ducks. It was not definitely not the start that I thought that I would get and the feelings that I would have in raising a new animal for the first time. We loved having the chickens. They were, they were doing great. <clears throat> they gave us eggs on a regular basis and I uh, definitely liked that experience and it was definitely an educational experience and so was the ducks. It was just a completely different experience. And since we were newbies, we really didn't have a real good idea of how to raise the chickens nor the ducks. And predators began picking them off here and there. And uh, I believe it was a hawk or an owl that got Romeo. And I believe it was a fox or a coyote or something, a raccoon, that got Juliet. And we lost a couple of chickens along the way as well. And uh, at that point, I was pretty much thinking oh man I don't think I want to raise ducks again anyways and over the course of time we improved our systems and, and learned how, actually how to raise them and keep them safe with electrified fencing and making sure they have the right areas to, to be protected in and uh, so some time went by and we had chickens and then somebody presented us with three khaki camels completely different ducks than the Pekin Ducks. So uh, I was like, you know what, let's just try it again. I was really reluctant about taking ducks again onto our farm with having that bad experience with, with Romeo and Juliet, but I said, oh, we'll give it a shot. They, they needed new homes anyways, and our, our, our farm is really set up to have ducks with having a pond. So I was like, well, let's, let's try these, let's try out these khaki camels. And you know what? It was a completely different experience raising these khaki camels versus the Pekin ducks. And uh, not too long went by before I was like, you know what, I really like these ducks. They lay a good amount of eggs. They're not attacking us. They're a little, they're a little timid and a little afraid, but other than that, they're really good. They're easy to move around. It's like, I like these ducks. And then I started eating their eggs and I was like, hmm. I really like these eggs. You know what? I actually like the duck eggs better than chicken eggs. Also, for those of you who don't know, duck eggs can be a healthier option for you compared to chicken eggs. Duck eggs contain six times more vitamin D. They contain more omega-3s, more vitamin A, more iron, more selenium, and they're also more alkaline. Their duck eggs are alkaline and chicken eggs are not. So for those of you who are looking to be on a more alkaline diet, duck eggs can be a great option for you. And duck eggs have more protein for those of you who are looking to have more protein in your diet. And we have customers that buy duck eggs from us. Some of them are allergic to chicken eggs and they can eat duck eggs no problem. So if you're allergic to chicken eggs, consider trying duck eggs. 
and I love them. I like you can make them just like you would chicken eggs. You can scramble them. You can have them over easy. I like mine scrambled or an omelet with microgreens. They'd be great. And a lot of people like to bake with duck eggs too. So you may want to try that. But raising ducks can be is is a different experience than raising chickens. Chickens are great at tilling certain areas and especially if you're looking to have taken chickens be multifunctional of having the eggs and also using them in a permaculture setting. Uh, ducks are great. They're great grazers. However, they're not going to provide you with that same tillage that the chickens are going to do. Uh, but if you want an area mowed down, they're great for that. Also, if you have a pond that you want to seal, ducks are great for that. Their poop and the mud that they gather really helps seal ponds from leaking. Uh, another benefit of raising ducks is they're easy to herd and get them to kind of go where you want them to go. I think that they're easier than chickens. Some people may disagree with that, but I do. I really like working with the ducks and I uh, really just like calling them. They're just a really neat animal to just watch. Some people think that they're really messy. However, I think if they're managed well, they're not messy. Any animal will be messy if you just kind of keep it in the same area and you're not keeping the area sanitary and things like that. Uh, so that's something to watch. So having a mess is not something that I see as a negative with ducks because like I said, as long as it's managed, they're, they're not a problem on our farm. And part of properly managing the ducks in the areas that they're in is making sure that you either move them on a regular basis to a fresh area or add mulch if you're going to keep them in an area permanently. So just the other day, I moved the ducks into a new area. We just slowly worked the fence forward so that way they could have access to some fresh grass to eat on. Another thing you need to do to manage their area is manage how they have access to the water. Because if you just give them total free access to the water, they'll just splash and make a mess everywhere and there'll be mud and it'll just be yucky and you don't want that especially if you have a small small area where you're raising them because you'll just have a complete mess everywhere so what i like to do is i like to use what i call a duck shield and i'll put it over their water water or i will block it where they have some type of barrier to going into their water so that way they can still get through that barrier to put their head in and get their heads fully submerged but it doesn't allow their body to go through to where they're splashing and, and making a mess everywhere. So that's what I like to use, what I call the duck shield. But with having a barrier or a duck shield, I do think it's important for the ducks to have some free access to where they can get their whole body in the water. So from time to time, I'll let our ducks go out to the pond and have that free access, or I'll remove the duck shield so that way they can get in whatever water source that I want them to play in. And for those of you who are raising ducks in a small area, that's something you, I feel you should do is uh, maybe a couple times a week or once or twice a week, let them have free access to that water and just put some straw down or something like that or some mulch just to keep it so it's not totally messy. But uh, I think that's important for them to have access to that water from time to time. But I started this video in telling you what is something that I can't stand about my ducks. So I covered the things that I liked and the possible objections that some people have with ducks and being messy and that's not mine. But mine is when the ducks are so noisy. <laughs> Not every breed of duck is noisy. Our Muscovy ducks are pretty quiet, but our khaki camels can make a racket. And they can be so loud when you're near them, it's hard to even talk to each other, not alone even hear my own thoughts. And we've moved them just outside of our house before. And let me tell you, they were so loud, just wake you up at night. Just wah, 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 wah. So that is one thing that I don't like about my ducks is when they're just so noisy. <laughs> Sometimes they'll be noisy when they're trying to get my attention that they want something, that they want water or feed or they just want to get out. But other times they're just noisy to be noisy. 
but there's so many things that I like about raising them, I'm going to let that one thing that I can't stand slide. Well, that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a couple things about ducks you may not have known before. And if I missed anything, please feel free to share it. And we will see you next time. Grow on. Oh, also, for those of you who are interested in Ray Tyler's year-round lettuce course. I'm providing that information in the show notes below, so make sure you join me in taking that course because we're going to be growing greens year-round, and I have been learning a lot from Ray's course on how to grow lettuce year-round here in the hot, humid south that I'm in. So we'll see you next time. Grow on.